conference series, of which the current one is number six, is one that I put together because I wanted to really take account of the fact that aging is a complicated, multifactorial process, and different people study different parts of it, and they don't know much about each other's work. Prior to coming to the conference, I'd been unaware of the uh, breadth of research being supported by SENS, and uh, they've really just uh, developed these very targeted areas that I think are pivotal uh, elements in, in trying to understand what it is that occurs with aging and what creates disease vulnerability. So yeah, I'm massively impressed by what I've seen here. It's a remarkably eclectic co conference that SENSE has brought together. Um, people from basic science, um, people from business, people from venture capital, um, people from uh, the world of journalism. Uh, I think it's a fascinating potpourri, if you like, of different people. Clearly the science is leading edge. It's really provided a wonderful opportunity for researchers from various areas of the aging uh, research arena to get together and talk about areas where they uh, intersect and where there may be ways to collaborate. What we tend to have in terms of speakers, first of all, is absolutely the world-class people in all of these fields. We also, increasingly, as with this year's conference, have a lot of our own researchers, both ones working in-house at our laboratory in California and also ones working in universities but funded by us. SENS Foundation came to the Institute and uh, we talked about uh, a new area in terms of uh, thymic uh, tissue engineering. It would not have occurred in terms of the, that research area at our institute in, at Wake Forest if SENS hadn't come in and funded this. What we do is we study the chemical changes that take place in the body as people age and how to reverse those chemical changes or undo those chemical changes essentially with the goal of reversing or undoing the aging process. The SENS Foundation has generously given us enough money to have two graduate students working full time on this project and in 12 months we've made extraordinary progress. I'm George Church, professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School. Uh, we do technology development for, for basic uh, biological research, including aging, and so it's very refreshing to be at this uh, SENS 6 conference. Well, certainly the SENS Research Foundation and the conference have brought together an interdisciplinary team, which is quite valuable for uh, exchanging ideas. It's a great feeling of sharing and progress. Uh, we really suddenly have the in biological insights and the technology to make uh, quite a bit of progress. It's, uh, it's very exciting, um, very refreshing to meet people from all over the world that are doing similar or different research, but we share the same interests and the same passion. And um, you, you share ideas, make friends and connections. It's extremely nice for networking and to set up new collaborations. You can see how uh, aging has been neglected in the past because it seemed so daunting, but uh, we've, we're in a completely different place now with the, with the new technologies and the deeper insights into uh, uh, you know, the developmental and cellular processes, immunological processes and so forth where we can really um, now start making a big impact and at that point it becomes much more cost effective to, to be investing in, these, in the fundamentals of, of development and aging um, than trying to put bandages on, um, on diseases once they're too far along. Preventative medicine is the, and precision medicine is the key words. Some of the things we're most proud of, of course, is being able to bring a message to a community, scientific community and a general community. It's pretty clear to me that we've begun to have an impact in the way that scientists and the community at large talk about aging right now. And that's the thing I'm really most proud of.
there are so many different scientific fields being presented here. Hardly anyone here, except for some of the people who actually work for Sense Research Foundation, could possibly say that they were familiar with more than one quarter of the topics that they're hearing about. It's a wide-ranging group of very knowledgeable experts. Um, so it's not <laughs> focused in a very narrow area, um, but rather is broad and deep simultaneously. It's been one of the highlights of my year. It's been great to see um, all the authors of the papers that I've been reading over the, the, the past couple of years appearing in person and get to ask them things and seeing excellent research. Really fascinating. It's been incredibly exciting. It's fantastic to see everybody's work, to get to see what people are doing, and to see it all in one place together is something you don't get to see every day. Um, a little exhausting, but it's fantastic. Oh, it's been fascinating. It's been really interesting to find out what's happening in this space of uh, anti-aging medicine and the approaches people are taking to try and find some solutions. One thing that makes me particularly proud with respect to this conference series is that every single time I run one of these conferences, people come up to me who have been coming to them since the beginning and they say, this was the best ever. 